Hi, welcome back to Bounce Board with me, Tiff Hall. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land in which I'm recording this podcast, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects to elders past and present. Sarah DM'd me with a great question. Tiff, what is box breathing? Can you take me through the benefits and any other techniques for meditation? Why are they helpful? Now, box breathing is so powerful and I've got a new program launching on TXO and it's fighter 2.0. It's high intensity hybrid training on martial arts and high intensity resistance training, right? But at the end of every session, I make sure we do our box breathing just to bring the nervous system back down and regulate the body again. It's so important. It's also known as square breathing and it's a powerful yet simple relaxation technique that can help to manage your stress and improve overall well-being. So the method involves inhaling, holding the breath, and then exhaling and holding the breath again in equal counts of four. So you inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for four, and hold for four. Now, the benefits of box breathing, there's so many, can reduce stress. So it has an immediate calming effect because it helps calm the nervous system by activating the parasympathetic nervous system, the responsible for the body's rest and digest response, opposite to the sympathetic nervous system, which is the fight and flight, you know. So you really want to be parasympathetic whenever you're working or after you finish training, you want to come back to that nice, relaxed state. Now, it improves focus and concentration. It really does clear the mind. And I I find that it clears my mind of distractions. It improves mental clarity. And it's really good in high pressure environments and situations. I tell you, like I've had a few high pressure situations on camera or whatever. And I've always gone back to my breath. Go back to your breath, Tiff. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. It really does help control emotional reactions and increase emotional regulation. So I really try and do this with my son. My toddler is having a two-year-old tantrum. She's too young to understand. But with my son, he's seven. Regular practice of box breathing helps him to manage emotional responses better. And it's a tool to cope with stressful or overwhelming situations. I just say, "Let's, let's, let's do some deep breaths, okay? And there's a lot of evidence that it enhances physical health. So lowers blood pressure. The deep controlled breathing can reduce the heart rate, promoting better cardiovascular health. And it improves your sleep by being in a state of calm. I had a freak out this morning at 3 a.m. And I couldn't get back to sleep. I was just, my mind was racing. And so I did some box breathing this morning. It really is proven to reduce anxiety and supports mental health, symptoms of depression by having a relaxing method that also helps with emotional control. And there's a lot of studies coming out now that says that the the box breathing can boost energy levels. So increase oxygen exchange because you're breathing efficiently into the lungs, which invigorates and energizes the body and enhances cellular function. So that's pretty cool. So how do you do box breathing? Well, you have to be either standing or sitting comfortably, ideally back straight, feet on the floor. I like to close my eyes and then you breathe in through your nose while counting to four slowly. Feel the air entering your lungs, hold your breath, count to four slowly, and then exhale through your mouth for the same count of four, expelling the air from the lungs and the abdomen. So then you hold your breath again, four counts. We actually have a meditation podcast called The Space hosted by Casey Donovan. So we're really lucky that Casey is going to take us through some box breathing now. If you can, pause for a few minutes and settle into a comfortable position. You can also do this while you're making dinner or dealing with the kids. Just keep your eyes open. Press your lips gently together and breathe in and out through your nose. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
For the next few minutes, we're going to do box breathing. If you've listened for a while, you'll have done this before. It's great for reducing stress levels and helping you to feel grounded. Breathe in for four. Hold for four. Breathe out for four. Hold for four. If this feels easy for you, you could count to six. Listen to what feels good in your body. When you hold for four on your inhale, imagine that fresh breath cleaning and cleansing your mind. When you exhale, imagine any negativity leaving your body. This is a great breathing technique because you're counting and breathing a double whammy for easing your stress levels. When you're ready, Let your breath return to normal. Thanks so much for listening to Bounce Forward. I love having your company, so please DM me on Instagram at tiffhall underscore XO and let me know what topics you'd love me to cover. Don't forget to rate and review me on your podcast app. Speak soon. Happy days.